I'm Chris Lightsheart. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Grandia. In the last part, as we're heading out, um, we uh, finished up. Jesus Christ, it's been actually a, a week since the last time I did a recording session. So we just dealt with all that Garla base bullshit just a couple episodes ago, and we're pretty much now uh, able to. Uh, we should be heading down to Lane Village. How? Ever, I'm actually going to get the side quest areas out of the way. I did not know how to execute this the first time, but I feel like, you know what, we're going to execute this. Now, there's two optional areas here. However, we're going to go with the one that's more further away from this entrance. Because I feel like, you know, maybe it would be best if I use this to show where it is where all the areas and stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my mic I'm going to speed this all up and I'll see you guys here in a minute so enjoy the music And we have finally arrived at the Castle of Dreams. This is a special stage. This dungeon is a place to enjoy combat. It has no relationship to the uh, to the progress of the story. So this means this is just like a side quest area, just as what I stated in the beginning of the episode. Now, just going to recover off all those uh, wounds I've accumulated. However, before we get anywhere uh, with this, now with Fina. All Healer Plus and um, Resurrect has been added. And al along with Protect. Now Protect is pretty much a skill. It's like it gives instability. Pretty much instability of uh, any attacks or, st or statuses or whatsoever. This attack will actually be useful in a Lint. For, there's a good reason uh, behind that. Um, we didn't pick up anything else except refresh, pretty much naturally on blocks. But we also, but with Justin, we have how the pretty much fully restores any statuses whatsoever. And I think that's about it. Um, uh, Rap picked up poison stuff like that, so just gonna get that across there right now. So let's get head in here. Oh, travelers, if you have strong hearts, please listen to my request. Bravery and strength are second to none, so then what is it? This place uh, overflows with curse and sorrow, and darkness too. My sister was a lover of shiny things. She collected many things, then one day, somehow by a twist of fate, my sister got a hold of, the, of this cursed sword. And that's how greedy people usually tends to get bad luck. Our, further, our father perished and the sorrow brought this darkness. Please break the curse of the sword. So this means uh, we have uh, another boss fight we have to go through. So if you think that how this game is getting so anal about all this, all this uh, back and forth, back and forth with um, boss fights, trust me, it's going to get worse soon. Especially when we get into Lent, but no, I'm not trying to spoil things, but yeah. So what we're going to first go to is we're going to actually explore the whole castle. Now, all I suggest is when you're traveling around here, watch your step. That's all I got to suggest. And you can get around those zombies perfectly fine. I really don't want to face those monsters. But, since, anyways, we have to show them off, I guess we'll have to. I'm trying to avoid as many monster fights as possible. Just try to get self through this as pretty quickly. Now, these monsters 
do not use fire whatsoever. It is resistant. It's purely resistant against fire. So I'm just gonna have Justin use house slash on it. Yes, Justin did pick that up. Blow, storm blow. I'm I'm still in the process of working with our magic. Um, and Justin's now picked up zap all. Pretty much, it is actually a pretty good skill. Uh, as I said, don't use fire, so we're going to be stuck using it. Uh, now, I guess I can use this skill just to show off. Um, I think that would be a good position to use it. Pocus, pocus. This is pretty much poison. Launches out a poisonous gel, and... Only one enemy got you know, poison. Guy that just randomly hit things. And also, these are just like the alligators back in the petrified forest. So, yeah. The only effective attack that I have ever found out oh, power of ice. was this skill. This skill is the only effective attack that I have had against these suckers. So, Fina, even though she's starting, she's starting to get really slow, it's worth it. Easy. Indeed it was. So, and also, here's a fair warning. Even though they don't give much, now, gold-wise, that's actually pretty decent. But, the XP-wise here is not, not good. Now, there is a good thing with this area, though. Um, now, I'm going to have to run across here as quickly as I can, and... You notice I just hit the wall and, and inflicted damage. There's spikes on the wall. So this area would be good for um, water element training. But there's actually a better method that actually saves me a lot of time. And I'll explain it um, with this fight. Even though I'm just going to just waste a turn, I'm just going to show it. Now, these things have a ton of health. However, they are very weak against one element. Now, the way how you do how to get your water up is you snooze. Especially since Justin and Fina has a lot of MP saved up in the first uh, level. You can spam the living hell out of that skill. I mean, I literally went an hour before I actually ran out of MP. An entire hour with that. So... This is how you deal with them. Here goes! Ha! This is how you get this is how you deal with these monsters. 600, 500. That's actually the strongest you can actually do. Just uh, I actually did not test this out with melee damage. Let's see if it does much. 145. Hmm. They seem a little bit weak against that, so. Five. Phoenix not going to really do anything, so. And there we go. Come back with yeah, snooze is actually the perfect way how to obtain stuff. And if you think these zombies actually um, don't really are not giving you that much money, they have a rare drop of a jewel. A jewel can sell for ten thousand. 10,000 easily. So, how am I going to get around this? Because it looks like I'm going to have to hit these zombies again. Yep. With that new uh, Zap Ball skill, it actually can one-shot the zombies, actually. Strangely enough, it does somewhere between 750 and 850 damage. So, yeah. Now, this is uh, an armor that gives 22 defense. It's a little lower, but it does restore SP. It is actually useful armor. Especially if you're heavily dependent on uh, SP, which really not many of my characters are, are heavily dependent on it. Now, now as, I, as I'm going to say, I'm going to continue doing healing training. So... Let's just get everyone back up since we did hit the spikes and everything. So. Now, 
If you think I just wasted all that time just doing that, I really didn't. I was actually training up skills. But we're now going to head down here in the knight's room. I'm just going to avoid touching any of those statues because if you touch a statue, it will actually summon a monster. So, let's see what we have here. Uh, 26 defense lowers IP loss, and I don't want to touch that either. I'm really trying to go in and out of here as quickly as I can. Because I really don't like this place. It really has a lot of dick move monsters in here. So, it's so just recovered. Hello, new monsters, here we go. So, these monsters here are giant moths. So, with Justin, I'm just going to have him just demonstrate what... Zap all is, and strangely enough, Zap all gives See my power. already enough fast charging speed with the skill. So, just to demonstrate 500 when a burn, uh, burn, what a thing. burn flare would uh, do about let's, I would say maybe about 400. So, Zap all actually does quite a bit, especially when you start combining the elements and stuff. It really starts getting impressive. Now this is this dagger here. It has a good potential of, of use in a future area for um, who, depending on who I want to put it on. I would assume I would put it on Rap since I might have him work a little bit more on a, on melee. Now I'm gonna head in here just to grab one item though. So. Get this item, I'm gonna have to face them. And just gonna reach back here, and guess what this is? This is actually the last mana egg. However, I'm just gonna say beforehand, there was a mana egg that I did get off camera. I'm gonna show it after I'm done with these uh, side areas, so. So don't worry about that. And hello, one more monster. And Patrona Bone and Pink Ghost. I think that's how you pronounce them. Pretty much just give you an idea. 555. They're packing a lot of health. Now, if you think that 100 health is you should take lightly, that's not the case. Don't take that 500, that 100 health. Um, really, if you think that's that 100 health, really is gonna, it's gonna judge, uh, your, put your judgment. This. You're gonna be underestimating, big time. So I'm gonna shoot a burn flare out just to knock them out. You see, that pink ghost only took 112. The resistance, per, the resistance is pretty damn well with this and uh god i'll have you on defense but i'm just going to tell you this i'm just going to prove this you don't want to use any melee attacks there's really no use to using melee in here there's really no use to it your way. Take now, if this thing, ki if uh, Rap kills it, I'll explain. Let's see. Pretty much what would happen is, <clears throat> pretty much everyone's damage would drop down to like one. And wow, a lot of death masks out of everywhere. So These death masks are piling on, but that would probably be a good item to sell. Now, we're going to go in the small room, because this is the only place we have left before we head up. Head upstairs some more. Now, there's gold laying around the room, but I'd rather not pick that up. Because I'd rather not deal with more monsters. Just going to pro prove the point. It's really not that worth the time to go in there, so... We're now going to head up here, and I think I can squeeze all of this in an episode, actually. 
Strangely enough. Now, let's see. I don't know why I clicked on that. But. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to save the game before we head on. So, come on. Let's get all this up. I have already have went through here already just to test the area and see if if my characters and, every, and everyone's ready and it, everyone's ready so should be fine through this area so recover and we are now going to head through the staircase here that's going to take us to the rooftop now there is another way in uh, you know the room where the mana egg is there is a hole that's open that will lead you from there out here but it will not take you across because, of the, because if you get over here there's no bridge on the roof, so pretty much you have to go across the vines. So now we're going to head into the Lord's Chamber. This is pretty much where the boss is. Now, the moment you talk to her, that's when the boss fight starts. So, who are you? Stop, stay away, this cursed sword will hurt you. Just like the day when it forced me to kill my father against my wishes. Oh, father. It's alright, we've, we've come to break the curse. Yeah, and get into a boss fight. Now, the now as I said on the ruins card, I said there was going to be another boss that's going to have similar tactics. This is the same one. Now it looks like he's put his positions um, elsewhere. Now, all I'm going to suggest is to separate everyone out. The first turns I'm going to spend separating everyone. So. Evasion, I'm going to move you over there. Now, Justin, where am I going to move? Now, depending on uh, where I can move Justin and Fina, um, I guess I can move you just a tiny bit over. Fina, where can I move you? Looks like I'm not going to be able to move her. However, I'm going to start off by going all out. So we're going to start off with Dragon Zap. It's a it's a slow skill to load, but this will teach you. It is a very powerful attack. So you might notice some slowdown, but that's just the that's just the game emulator, pretty much. It's pretty much uh. It's something with the PS3, so... Gadzap, wow! Uh, I think this might be hitting everyone here. No, it only hit Fina, but... That's gonna go after Gaida, so... Gaida will be actually in the clear for this. Now, I want to hit him with... I'm actually hit him with a burn flare. I have enough time to pass him. Gaida, oh damn it, I did not switch his weapon either. So moves, um, I'm gonna toss out a Mogay bomb that's actually gonna stop, that's gonna stop him from attacking. Good, take this! This is it. This skill is actually an instant cancel. Um, it's been known to use instant cancel, so. Let's see if it does cancel it. Yep, it actually knocked it back. But I cannot use the wrath to um, to attack, so um, I'm gonna heal I'm gonna heal Fina by just healing by using healer. How about this? Didn't use that, I would probably be in a fucked position. And it actually would be a good time to de demonstrate that. Um now X-ray! X-Ray is a very random skill. The, the reason why I've separated everyone out is for one good reason. It's because of that and Zap. Now, I might have to start using some defense, so... But I'm going to use Crackling this turn. I'm going to have... Kaido, I might have Kaido might be using one of his rescue kits here in a few, but yeah. So let's see. 
that goes. Um, Kaido, what I'm gonna have you do... I wanna see if I can move him just a little bit more up. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna move him just a little more up. Yeah, just wasting an entire turn just moving him just about two inches, but that actually would that actually would be very helpful for this fight, so... Um, another burn flare is going to go out, go out. Now, as the Ruins Guard, the same as the Ruins Guard, once I get rid of that one, it's, it's going to get easy. Once I get rid of that one, it's going to get easy. So... So, let's see. Um, I'm going to have Rap use Fireball. Now that one only has about half of its health left, so... Fire dance. Huh. And that's gonna do 250. I don't see any way where... <sighs> Rap needs to attack this turn. I'm not... Gaido. Gaido. Not Rap. I should stop mixing the two up. So let's get this out of the way. Justin... I might actually start having you uh, use that. Oh, power of ice! Now, this attack will actually do a lot, a lot of the trick. So, I'm gonna have uh, Fina continue to attack, but oh look, um, the wind went up on uh, Fina. Wow, that just sounded entirely wrong, but. Pretty much, uh, Fina's, uh, win level just went up, and, um, oh, oh, I didn't have enough time to stop, you bastard. Good, take it. Boink, there we go. Um, yeah, it looks like it's about time for he'll start going around, but I'm gonna use Zap Ball. Zap Ball, I'm just gonna press my luck. Here goes! Ha! And let's see what's gonna happen with this. Now I did not try Zap Ball on the boss last time, but wow, it actually did a lot. Surprisingly. Um Rap's health right now is really pushing. It's really pushing it. Fire dance. Huh. Another fireball gonna shoot out and another 250 so damage. However I'm really concerned about I'm really really concerned about um Rap's health. Oh, so I'm hoping like um Justin could probably pass up uh, the boss and probably be able to heal, but if not, I'm just going to be careful if it's going to aim for crap. So, let's see. This can go anywhere, and if it goes towards rap, yeah. Um, I'm just going to defend this turn just to secure myself. Let's see where this x-ray is going to go. Yeah, it's gonna hit Fina directly. You know, in spite of it, uh, spite that I want to be pr uh, protective as much as I can with this fight. So, there, there. All healer plus. This skill is so worth it. 193 health. That pretty much just instantly provide, pretty much uh, instantly fills the health bars back up again. So, pretty useful. It really is useful. So, oh, that little pesky bash is going about to go for me again. Take that. He is so close when coming towards me again. So, let's see. 160. There went the wand! The wand's gone! But pretty much that, uh, 
the rod is still there. So, just kind of give you a recap right now. We're only about 1,400 away. So, um, I'll have Gaido hold. Zap's going toward... Wow, I actually went for uh, Gaido that turn. And I only did 17 because I defended. I actually did not think that was going to head for him. But... So, let's see. Crackling, we'll have that go. Oh, power of ice! And... Next turn, it will be everyone probably going to go all out. Next turn. 298. Pretty much, it looks like it's just a one uh, enemy now, so... Mid-air cut, go. Oh, it looks like he's about to load up a skill that he doesn't want us to know. Looks like he's about to load up a skill that he doesn't want us to know about. So, that's a caution right there. That's a pure caution uh, to send out. Um, You're not going to get away from this! Huh. And right there, 387. And X-ray again. That's actually going to go for Gaido that turn. And it actually does push the enemy back, so... Wow, cancelled. Wow, bullshit. Guess what? Go. And that's it. Boss is done. That was pretty. Pretty much the boss gives 9,900 EXP, 18,000 gold. And if you think that is not imp uh, that's impressive, wait until uh, the reward that we get. Rap leveled up, Fina leveled up, Guido leveled up, leveled up off camera, and Justin is very close to a level up. So, thank you very much. The curse of the sword is now broken. Now, no one uh, needs to suffer the same fate as my father. Yet the pain of losing my father remains. I will pray here for his repose. I will give you the sword in appreciation. And the lightning sword has now been acquired. So, thanks to you, I'm free of the sword, uh, of the curse of the sword. Thank you so much. So pretty much we just got given, uh, we pretty much just received a curse sword. That sounds very logical to do. But I think that will wrap up everything in this part. Now yeah, I'm actually not even kidding. I actually thought this was going to take like 45 minutes or something. But this took less than I suspected. Now before I actually wrap up the video. Now with the zombies and stuff downstairs. Now... Um, as I said with the water trick, you snooze. You want to use snooze in front of a large quantity of monsters. Use it in front of a large quantity of monsters, you'll pretty much be alright. So, well, let's talk to her and then we're going to wrap up the episode. Oh, travelers, I truly thank you. Yes, thank us as much as you want. So, pretty much, we're done. So, I'm going to wrap up this episode. Um, in the next part, we're going to go for the second side quest area. This one is going to be more longer, so we could be seeing a longer episode in the next part. If you thought 30 minutes was going to be long enough, wait until the next one. We'll probably be dealing with an hour. So, so this is Crystallized Heart signing out. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I will see you guys in the next part.